Hello everyone. Welcome back to Everything Talk with Miss Marie. Today is Wednesday and you know what Wednesday mean. Woman Crush Wednesday. I know I just looked like a bobble head then, but <laughs> it was funny. It just was funny. I thought about it. But today is Woman Crush Wednesday and you know what I'm doing today. I'm crushing on a, a woman and that woman is me. And it's okay to crush on yourself sometime. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm loving myself. Everything about myself, like my shirt say, you really can't see it, it say be you, do you, for you. And I'm doing that today for myself, even though it's supposed to be yesterday on Transformation Tuesday, I'm doing it today because I'm crushing on myself. I love who I am, the way I am, how I am. And most of all, y'all, I'm loving these locks, even though I'm ready to take them down. Of course, first I have to say thank you all for checking a girl out. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate it. Anytime you come and check me out, I really do appreciate it. And whatever you do, please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And of course, hit the like button. Show me some love, you know, some kind of way. So thank you all. But um, anyway, I'm just I'm, I went shopping last week, so I, of course I wanted to come show you those things. But I gotta tell you about my day yesterday. Yesterday I went and took the coronavirus test. Oh my god, y'all. It's crazy. Like, to be honest, the test is scary, but the test is not hard. The thing that almost killed me was a panic attack. Like, I literally had a panic attack. Like, I got there. I was fine. I went in the room. They was like, give me the four, first four people. We went in. We sat in these chairs six feet apart, you know. So, I'm sitting there and, you know, just looking around at everyone. I'm trying to figure out, like, Everyone is calm except me. Even though I appear to be calm, I was not calm. So I'm looking around, looking up, looking down, whatever. And so the lady came out and I was, you know, I'm looking at her. I was like, hi, how you doing? And she's like, hey, do I know you? I was like, no. Because <laughs> the thing is, I was having a panic attack, you all. And I was trying so hard to keep myself calm. So anyway, she got the information from the lady in before me and she pulled the stuff out. I closed my eyes. I didn't even see what she pulled out. I just closed my eyes, put my head down and, you know, tried to seem, you know, sing to myself and or say some positive things to myself. Like, girl, you got this. You can do this. It's not going to hurt. And so she did the lady. She did the lady. And then she looked back at me. She said, you can move on up. And I'm saying to myself, move up. Like, really? <laughs> but anyway, so she like, yeah, you can move up. So I was like, okay, I get up and I go ahead and I move up and I sit in the chair. And so and then she come and I'm like, all of a sudden you are, I promise you, it felt like an elephant had sat on my chest. Like I'm still sitting here talking, like with my mask on, I'm talking. I pulled the mask down over my mouth, hit my nose out, but I'm still, I'm talking. But yeah, it was like an elephant was sitting on my chest. Like I could not breathe, even though I was talking because I was trying to talk myself out of my panic attack. So, you know, they were trying to get me calm and stuff. And I'm like, the thing is, it was like, I was calm, but I was panicking on the inside. But anyway, I was like, oh, my nose ring on the side. She's like, oh, baby, no matter. We can get it from either side. I'm like, oh my God. So at this point, I'm like, okay, Marie, take some breath. So I'm like, could I, should I hold my breath? What should I do? But anyway, I did it. So I, I closed my eyes. Elephant sitting on my chest. She put the thing in my nose, which did not hurt at all, you all. It tickled to me. It did not hurt me. It just, it felt ticklish to me. But the panic attack almost killed me. Like, literally, the panic attack almost killed me. I was like, wait a minute, hold hold on. Okay, I was burning up. I said, I had to say, hold on, because I was burning up. I had to turn on the fan, because this room did not have a ceiling fan. But anyway, but I was like, oh my God, hold up. Um... The coronavirus test was not that hard. What was going to kill me was this panic attack. And so after she got done, I'm still like, the elephant is still sitting there. I'm like, okay, good to see you all. Hope to see you all again. Leave, go get in my car. I'm still like, this elephant is sitting on my chest. I promise you all, I didn't feel relieved until like six o'clock last night. Like, the panic attack was going to kill me. Like, the coronavirus test was nothing compared to the panic attack. Like, I'm like, I need to go see somebody. Y'all have anything that I could do to calm down my panic attack, please leave it below. Just give me something. But cause that was crazy. But that happened yesterday. I did take the coronavirus test. I'll let you know the outcome when it comes back. You know, I'm hoping it's negative, negative, negative. Um, not that I had any symptoms or anything. We just all had to do it for our, for our job. So that's why I had to go take the test. But I'm glad I did it. It's over you. I'm, there's something I don't have to worry about right now. And if it come back negative, you know what I'm doing. Stay in my house away from everybody. <laughs> but anyway, so, okay, like I said, I'm crushing on myself. Um, this Wednesday, yay, about time. 
So I went shopping last week. So it's, I went to three stores. It's nothing big. It's not like something big. But I picked up some items that was like all about myself, you know, because you know I'm deeply into this like self care, self love thing. So I went to the store. I went to Ross. I went to Five Below, and I went to um, Dollar, Gen Dollar General. You know, trying to see something different, do something different, pick up something different. But somehow it always come back being the same thing. So I'm going to show you some, some of these items I got because I'm excited because today is Wednesday and I'm crushing on myself. Yeah. And I'm going to start with Dollar General for real. So Dollar General, my daughter has been telling me about this shampoo that her and her son use. And I said, okay, I'm going to try because you know, I'm, I'm, these locks look really good on this camera, but I'm like ready to take them down, try something different. I try to, um, wash and deep condition my hair once a month. I try to, um, cause I'm trying to like thicken up my regular hair my natural hair that's growing out of my head so that I can go back to when my natural hair coming out of my head. So I try to do these protective styles so I can use these home remedies that I be doing like the um, aloe vera juice as a leave-in. Um, like I mixed up the um, Sulfur Aid and Dr. Miracle. Well, no, do grow oil and try to do that for a month just to see because they said 30 days it works. So it's been 30 days so I want to try it again. So I'm about to try to do my hair again but my daughter been telling me about this shampoo this cream of nature coconut milk shampoo i don't know if you can see it. oh yeah there she go and they say it's like it is it's really soft and your hair they detangling your hair and stuff so i wanted to pick that up because i don't know when i'm gonna do my hair i thought i was gonna do it yesterday um was it you know wasn't in the mood so i was like okay well i'll do it today but then i got called into work so i had to go to work and do something so now i'm like should i do it should i not but so i just went on a bought the shampoo is 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 um um the deep tangling and conditional shampoo y'all i'm sorry y'all know i talk fast so i get tangled up and stuff all i that need to do is slow down but anyway this is me and i'm still hot like come on fan give me some air okay anyway <laughs> It's kind of cool off because, you know, I be having my own season along with the temperature. Oh, my God, the sun is shining. You know, I, I'm going to show y'all. I painted my front door and back door. I'm going to show you the before and after. really can't see the difference, but I'm going to show you that. But anyway, back to this shampoo. It's um, Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioner Shampoo. And my daughter and my grandson said it makes their hair really, really soft and, and not hard to comb. So I was like, I'm going to try it. Um... The real thing is, I want to do it today, but I don't have any curling cream because I want to try to see, can I do like a twist out before I do another crochet style. But I picked up this shampoo for myself since I'm crushing on myself. Yes, yeah, Criminal Nature Shampoo. And I'm going to polish my nail. I got, I picked up a nail polish. Okay, the shampoo was um, $4.50. In the general dollar store, I went to um, CVS. It was five forty nine, so four fifty general dollar store. And I picked up this green gel nail polish. I'm about to polish my toes with this today. That's what I definitely gonna do that today. If I don't do anything else, I'm going to polish my toes. So I picked that up for me because I'm crushing on myself today once again. <laughs> a million time you all because i'm always crushing on other people who really crush on yourself who crushing on you so you gotta crush on yourself so that's what i'm doing so i picked that up and i'm gonna polish my toes that color i think that was really cute it's kind of like a lime green i don't know and it's a gel it's gel like shine so we're gonna try that today so that's what i got from dollar general and this was two dollars yes i spent two dollars on some nail polish <laughs> I picked it up. I picked it up. I won't try. So those are two things I got from the general, general, general dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I love to have fun. I'm so tired of having fun by myself. But anyway, pick those two things. So anyway, last week I picked those up today. Last week I went to Five Below and Ross. So we're gonna go into Ross. Um, just had to get out the house, breathe a little bit with my mask on. Just can't breathe without it. So I picked up some items from Ross, and like I said, um, said, like I said, I need to stop talking so fast. But whoever like me, like me for who I am, the way I am, right? Thank you. But anyway, self care. I'm really into this self care stuff, and and I love you know making myself feel good. I mean, I have to, cause who else gonna make me feel good? Would you make me feel good? I appreciate if you did though. But anyway, so I went to Ross and I picked up some items from Ross. So let's see what we got in our. Bag. Okay. 
Okay, start off with, yeah, you all, I am so fascinated with these things. These detoxifying foot pads. Yeah, Elite Beauty 2 Detoxin Fine Foot Pad. Um, it's choco infused. And um, you put them on your feet at night and you sleep with them, you know, keep them on for like 10 hours. And it's supposed to pull all the de de detox, they're supposed to pull all the um, purified stuff out your body through your, through your feet. So I picked those up. I had some um, last week and it seemed like they kind of work. I had I bought some not last week. I used them last week. But I bought some from Berlin Coat Factory and they seem to work really good. So I picked these up. I saw these and I said, okay, I'm going to try these though. Because I really like the last one I had. So, And like I said, I'm into this self-care cleansing kind of thing. Because right now I'm all about renewing my mind, reviving my life and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I picked up those. Those are some detoxified foot pads. Um... Of course, you all, I saw these Orchid Valley Harvest Cranberry Almond Trail Mix. I kind of like these. And um, they have on the inside, they, they are cranberry almonds and cashews. And it's like some little snake. They say it's a salad mix, but of course, I'm just going to eat them like this. I, I prefer to just open and pop them in like, you know. So I picked those up. They kind of, I guess they're healthy. They will help me and my body. You know, got to stay healthy doing this coronavirus thing. And I picked up, y'all, I picked up some more nail polish. I'm sorry. But this nail polish was like Karen's in three-day thickener for your nail. And I want to try, like, thicken up my nail, my real nails, because I really stopped getting them done since the coronavirus and stuff. And I don't, really, don't want to go back and get them done, because I hate how they messes up my nails, like the acrylic and stuff mess up my nails. So I picked this up, and I'm going to try it. They said... In just three days, your nails are supposed to be thick. So, what you think I'm going to do today? When I polish my toes, I'm going to polish my nails. We're going to check this out. I hate to do all this then wash my hair tomorrow, but I don't know. But right now, my hair looks cute on this camera. Anyway, so I picked up those three things from Ross. One of my favorite stores, y'all. I promise you, if you love me and you want to get me anything, give me a gift card to Ross. I, because it's something in there I'm going to find because I just I love their home good I love their candles and of course I love this little the little front area stuff and of, of course perfume so so if you love me and you want to get get me a gift gift card from Ross yes that's one thing it's other things that I like too but I'm just saying can't go wrong yeah the next one I went to of course was the five below was five below and y'all know I love me some Five Below. Five Below and the Dollar Tree is have become one of my favorite, favorite stores because you can get things that you like for like a reasonable price. I know I'm always touching my hair, but you all, when I look at this camera, I can't have to say this. When I look at this camera, it's be like really, really cute. My hair be like really, really cute. What you think? You tell me what you think. Do you think my hair is cute? Except my little nail right now. It's gotta put some edge control on it. And my little ball spot right there. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I touched my hand. So let's see what we got from Five Below. So in Five Below, I picked up. Oh, you all, I did not. I'm sorry. This right here did not come from Five Below. This came from Michael's. I just thought it was the cutest notebook journal thing. And because I love to write down my scriptures when um, I think about something in my life, I tend to pull up on my uh, Google. Um, scriptures on letting go scriptures on love scriptures on becoming strong and i write those and then, and then you know they come up with all these things top 10 scriptures about this and i write those things down in my um journal and stuff because they say when you write stuff down it, it helps you better you know than you just looking at it so i picked up this and i because i thought it was really really cute let's see what i got on my inside uh, mm. i don't want to tear nothing Maybe if I had some scissors. Oh, it's easy. But um, I picked that up. It's a happy notes. And this includes 60 sheets of note paper, three dividing de designs to fit the happy planner, and a disc bound system. Oh, I wonder, you know, can I refill this? I don't think I can refill it. I hate holding my hand down because I all that for hair. Anyway, so and um, I'm all about friendship and 
girlfriend has got me. And this thing is, I love my squad. And, and y'all know, if you know me, you know I love my squad. And my squad consists of my daughter, Miss Coretta Nicole, my best friend, um, Trina Davis Turtle, Vivi Calhoun, um, Vivian Tavra Hall, and my sisters, Angela Malloy, Pamela Fielder, and Sherry Sullen. That is my crew, you know. I have other people I talk to, but that is my that is my squad. Those girls are my squad. I would I'm gonna put a picture so y'all can see them. What about like? But yeah, those are oh my god, I hit myself in the face. But that is my squad, and I love them even though sometimes I can't stand them. But I love them. <laughs> and I know they feel the same way about me. But um that's okay because that's how friends are. But um, yeah, so this this is like a really, really cute little um this is cute. So I picked that up so I can write my note. I know I talk too much. I should be rambling and rambling and rambling, rambling. But what's the point? That is the point. And it's like, oh my God, y'all, yeah, this is like cute. This is like really cute. Like, it just sheets of paper or whatever, but it has like these little, look at that. That's cute. It's cute, 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 cute. Look at that. Okay. Remind me of myself. Okay. So I got that. That came from Michael's. That came from Michael's. Then did not come from Five Below. So anyway, Five Below. We're going in Five Below. Five Below. I picked up. <laughs> some pens from five below some like gel pens from five below to write in the journal yeah they have like the primary color red orange pink purple green black blue you know yeah i picked those up of course i saw these oreo thin bites they supposed to taste like thin mints you know i'm fascinated with stuff like this with the Girl Scout cookies, I want, and I see something that remind me of a Girl Scout cookie, like those coconut delights, which is my favorite. By Keebler's. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I saw these Oreos, and Oreos are good. And they said, like, thin bite fudge, you know, dip, like thin mints. So we got. Y'all want me to try it now? Well, uh, let me finish talking. Then I'm going to come back and try this because my teeth are like it, chocolate. But anyway, we're going to try these. And I'm going to tell you if they taste like that. Okay. And um, of course, I picked up this um, multi-pack mask set. Yes. And in this set, it have a hand, it have a hand mask. I can't. Y'all, I can't see this light right. They have a hand mask, a foot mask, a face mask, an eye mask, and a lip mask. So it's for the whole body. Self-care, crushing on myself, taking care of myself. So it's, it's a mask for everything. My hands, my foot, my face, my eye, my lip. I can't wait to try that, especially on my hand and my lip. So, you know. But picked up that multi-pack. I'm um, mad that I'm knowing my little place. I'm dipping down, picking up, moving. Okay, I picked up this like little scrubber, daily spa scrub. And it's supposed to be like what I did is supposed to be supposed to help you, I guess, exfoliate your skin or whatever. I didn't get any sugar scrub though. And I should have got some sugar scrub to go with it. But I'm going to try it with just my regular buddy wash just to see how it works. So I picked that up because I thought that was cute. I wish I would have stayed in a color thing skin, but I didn't. And I picked up, I don't know, I just thought this was cute. It was like some sugar soft lip smoke and mirror. I don't know. I thought that was cute. So I picked it up because I said I just want to try, you know. I think, I don't know. I like my lips, even though can, who can see your lips now when you're wearing a mask? But I thought that was cute. And I, uh, well, I can never open anything. I'm not taking it back, so it don't matter. But um, let's see. I know I talk fast because I've been really been trying to keep these videos under 30 minutes. But I be rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling. Um, do is just tear the box and pull one out and it says strawberry uh, you probably can't see it yes oh, there you go and it says sugar lips the thing is is it a lip gloss or what is it mm. uh, is it a scrub I can't see the back of it. Mm -hmm. It's like sugar. I need to figure out what it is. 
I thought it was cute and I wanted to try it. <laughs> I picked, I said, oh, this is really cute. And they have strawberry and blueberry and chocolate and mint fat flavor. I don't taste anything. It don't smell like strawberry either, but I thought it was cute. I picked it up because it was for me. So I did it. Yes, sir. I picked that up. And then the last thing I got was some sage. I haven't had any sage in, this, in a minute. And I've been having these panic attack at night too. Like when nighttime falls, it's like I, I stop panicking. Like, I don't know. I'm, it's like I'm scared of nighttime now. I don't know if I'm scared of nighttime or am I turning into a vampire? Like, you know, like it's my time to roam or whatever. So I don't know. But I picked up these so I can sage my house and sage my body, clear all this bad energy. It's not like I got a lot of bad energy, but it just, I just feel, I'm sorry, it was looking at something like something on my window. I'm doing the most here today. I just, you know, like to clear the air in my house. And so I picked up some sage to do my own little ritual on my body and on my house. So yes, I picked up those things when I went shopping and I'm glad I'm showing them today because today is Woman Crush Wednesday and I am truly crushing on myself today. Yes. Um, and I'm telling y'all about stuff. But we're about to trade. We're about to taste these. We're going to, I'm, I am about to taste these. Not you all. Um, and to let you know, let me see. It smells like Thin Mints. Like the girls got put the Thin Mints. So let's see. It look like it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Be a mess. I had these things for a week just sitting in this room. <laughs> but look. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Damn, I am. Let's take them. Yeah, I know something. It tastes like thin mint. It tastes like thin mint. What are you? <laughs> but no, it tastes like it tastes like the girls got kicked thin mint. You should try. You should go try these. Oreo thin bites. They're good. They're really good. I like those. So I picked those up from five below. I gotta go back and see what else they got. But anyway, I like to taste things that they say taste like the original stuff. And like the girls got cookies have these little flavors. So when I saw it, I said, oh, let me try it. So it tastes like that. And it really do. So, but those are things I did. Like I said, today it's Woman Crush Wednesday. I'm really crushing on myself. Um, I'm not in a 100% of a good place, but I do feel good. I'm glad that that elephant got off my chest from yesterday. And um, I'm glad I went on and took the coronavirus test and can't wait to the test to, to the um, results come back. I know it's gonna be negative. I will let you know, and I will show you my nails on the next thing. I'm sorry, but the cookie <laughs> got me. So yeah. So um, like once again, thank you for checking me out. I always appreciate it. I really, really do. If um, you have any comments, suggestion, please drop them below. Share with your friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And whatever you do, please don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great Wednesday. And whoever you're crushing on today, whatever woman you're crushing on today, please just send them a text, call them up, and say, girl, you rock. That's all you have to do. Have a blessed day.